Make TV Toys, we have already opened up the Kelly Garrett figure from Mego's brand new Charlie's Angels line. Now we're going to turn our attention to Sabrina Duncan and Chris Monroe, not Jill Monroe. Hmm. It is now time to free the Chris Monroe figure from her packaging. We have already looked at Kelly Garrett and Sabrina Duncan on previous episodes of Terrific TV Toys. And just as I noted the limited edition numbers on those figures, we will take note that our Chris figure in hand right now is 4920 out of 10,000. And Chris Monroe, played by the lovely Cheryl Ladd on the series, hired in the second season of Charlie's Angels to replace Farrah Fawcett as Jill Monroe's sister, Chris. Oh, how heartbreaking it was. But um, they found a very good replacement, I felt, in Cheryl Ladd, even though I kind of resented Farrah not being on the show. <laughs> I resented the absence of Farrah. Um, I still did grow to love Cheryl Ladd in that role. Now, Cheryl Ladd was born Cheryl Jean Stopplemore in July 12, 1951 is the date. And besides Charlie's Angels, she's done quite a few other things over the years. She has just remained lovely throughout the years. Anything that I've seen her in, different TV movies and stuff like that. Film roles include Purple Hearts from 1984, Millennium from 1989, Poison Ivy from 1992. More recently, Unforgettable in 2017, and I'm getting that from Wikipedia. All right, um, she's got the same packaging as the other gals. Also says, hello, Charlie here, if you can see it. That's true of the other two girls here. And I see that she has a gun. And as I noted in previous episodes, they do use um, slightly different style of guns for these three gals. And hers seems to match the Kelly Garrett gun, um, not the Sabrina Duncan gun. Let me double check that. Yeah, Sabrina's is a little bit different style. Um, and then she's got a handbag. She's got a purse with her too. Just like Kelly Garrett had like a little pocketbook, but Sabrina did not have any other accessory but a gun. Let's take a look at the back. Let's see what our trivia is. Chris's Good Luck Charm is a book her mother gave her. What is the title of that book? Do you know? Do you know? It is Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> so there's the trivia for this figure. The rest of the verbiage seems the same. You've got the logo and the copyright and all of that barcode. Um, the verbiage about the figures. Yeah, TV favorites, and they show the three there. And as I mentioned in the episode for Sabrina, we know that Farah is coming from Mego, the same size, but not a Jill Monroe Charlie's Angels figure, but a Farah Fawcett figure in her red swimsuit. Oh, yay! That is going to be exciting. And maybe by the time I air this one, I will already have that one in hand. I don't know. I'm shooting this way in advance. Okay. This packaging is really kind of tough. But I think it is finally yielding to my tool here. A very, very sharp, dangerous tool. I'm going to separate her from the car just like I did with Sabrina. And slip her out of the packaging. Let's take a look at that purse first. <laughs> Just a simple, solid piece of brown plastic. Nothing opens or anything like that, but some detail with a buckle and some detailing here at the straps. Okay. <laughs> and then the gun has a piece of tape over it, I guess, so it doesn't move around in the packaging. So we'll free that as well and take a closer look. And if you know what kind of gun that is, feel free to enlighten me. I have shotguns. I do not own a gun. But I was raised by an avid gun collector. Um, okay. Lovely blonde hair. Look at those blue eyes. And take a look at that likeness. Do we think that looks like Cheryl Ladd? I honestly don't know. Yeah, in a way. 
in a way. Oh, I love how she's got a little ponytail going on. She's got like the part of part of her hair in the front twisted around a little bit on each side and with some plastic, like little plastic, clear plastic rubber bands there, rubbery plastic material, and then the same kind of material here, like the little elastic clear plastic holding the two in place at the back of her head. I love that. I love that design. I did bring my dedicated dowel brush with me for this opening. Such shiny, shimmery, perfect blonde hair. <laughs> and a little bit of curl to it. A little bit. Pating. Let me silence my phone. Silly me. This is like live TV. Um, all right, beautiful hair. Okay, I will note also that she has the same shoes on as the Kelly Garrett figure, if you can see them in there. I won't um, go ahead and haul her out again, but they are the same shoes, and I'm assuming that they're removable, just like Kelly's were. Yeah, very delicate, but removable unlike the shoes for Sabrina, which were a different style. And look at that denim jumpsuit <laughs> with a Velcro on the front and simulating three buttons or snaps on the front, simulating pockets on the side, a little bit of stitching in the back. <laughs> it's not actual denim. It's more like some kind of synthetic um, polyester type fabric cottony polyester maybe. I don't know if it's synthetic or not, but um, it's not actual denim. It's just made to look like denim. Long sleeves with the lapel here, which is so 70s. Collar and lapel. And we do have a bell-bottom treatment here. Also so 70s. A little bit of stitching detail. Interesting how there's the stitching, but they gather it in on her thigh. It's like they wanted it to be tighter around her thigh and then you pick up the stitching again there. So it's like it's gathered, squeezed together for extra stitching there on her thigh and then it flares out at the bottom. Interesting detail. <laughs> she is so lovely. Yeah! There is our Cheryl Ladd as Chris Monroe gonna solve that case with her on-screen sisters, so to speak. Her brethren with the Townsend Detective Agency. All right, well hopefully soon we will be doing an episode on the Farrah figure. And then I mentioned on um, the previous episode on Sabrina that once I have Farrah in hand, I'm gonna compare old to new. I both bespoke a little bit in the Sabrina episode. I have shown all three of the original girls of Charlie's Angels and the 1970s figures in a previous episode. Um, the Kate Jackson, Jacqueline Smith, and Farrah Fawcett, um, Sabrina, Kelly and Jill <laughs> figures, but that at that point the Kate one was borrowed from my friend Mike. But myself, when I was a kid, I owned the Kelly figure and the Farah and the Jill figure. So um, confusing, I know. Lots of names. I'm going to compare old to new. I'm going to have a new Farah and an old Farah, and a new Kelly and an old Kara Kelly, and we're going to compare the likenesses and see which are more accurate. The 1970s figures or these new, brand new Mego figures, which are simply lovely. Another thing I wondered, and I didn't mention it last time, I probably should have, someone had said um, when the Kelly figure was released, the first one, that she was wearing that pink sweater and white slacks outfit on an episode. Was she? Comment below if you know. And since I have not seen these episodes in a long time, most of the episodes I have not seen since they originally aired. I do have all the DVDs, but I haven't actually sat down and watched them. I'm wondering if this outfit is actually um, a replica of one she wore in an episode, as well as the Sabrina outfit. I did talk a little bit in the last one about seeing Sabrina with an apple red 
um, blazer pantsuit before. But I love fashion, and so I'm interested in that sort of thing. Any of you girls out there, anyone who loves fashion, comment below. All right, off to solve the case. Well, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time here on Terrific TV Toys. Thank you.